y'all welcome back to the i'm just big bone podcast this is episode four oh episode four like not me being consistent or whatever like now it do be posted up late on sunday nights i know i'm gonna get better at that you guys but for right now just making it on sundays is a good a good goal for mine okay i'm doing just fine all right hope you guys are having a really lovely beautiful sunday i hope you guys are relaxing if you had a busy weekend, you know, you got some wine and stuff like that. I am not having wine today. I got me some handy dandy water today because, girl, I already had two marks this weekend. So, <laughs> I'm trying to drink water right now. Trying to get back into the groove of the week. So, let's sip on our water. Sip on your wine, you know. We got a topic to talk about because I feel like the topic today, I have experienced in this okay i have went through all the bad men i have went through trials and errors of not deserving men okay and i know exactly what type of men like big girls and i know all the different signs okay because i feel like a lot of big girls will ignore a lot of red flags because they're so desperate to have a man i mean come on y'all do y'all not agree with me i feel like and you know me personally too I ignored a lot of red flags back in my day just because, honestly, because the guy was hot. I'm not even going to lie. Because he looked good, I was like, oh, he want my little brown self? Oh, okay, like, ignore this, ignore this, ignore this, ignore this, ignore this. But now that we're grown and we're sexy and we know how sexy we are, we're not doing that anymore, y'all. I don't care how fine he is, okay? I don't care, um how undeserving you feel like you shouldn't get the man if he's treating you bad if you know he's gonna waste your time you don't need to be entertaining these men okay guys there's no man out there that you should be sacrificing your self-love for i don't care how good he look girl i don't care okay unless he is dropping all that money okay but that's another story okay we're not talking about that today today episode four we are talking about what signs or what things to look for in men to know that they like big girls now there's different ways to figure out if a man likes big girls and i have spoke about this already on my tiktok if you have not already go follow my tiktok at jb underscore underscore heart anyway a lot of different signs to figure out if a man likes big girls or not and you know some are verbal some you will have to ask straight out loud. Some you really could just tell. But honestly, the first conversation y'all have, the first message he sends you, you're like, no. <laughs> already. And we're going to talk about that today. Okay? So y'all ready? Let's get into the top signs and the top ways you can figure out how to know if he does not like, not like a big girl. Okay? First one. Okay? How to know if he does not like big girls is... The first conversation y'all have, he's talking about your body. And I mean, it's almost immediately. If you ever feel like from the first conversation that y'all are talking about your body immediately, he don't he, he don't like you for real. Okay? <laughs> he has a fetish, a BBW fetish. We all know what uh, uh, what that is, okay? BBW fetish stands for big, beautiful women, okay? And you know... Big, beautiful women. I love the compliment there, you guys, but let's be honest. Okay? It's the category on porn. Okay? Can we acknowledge that? A lot of big girls will come out here and really will defend the BBW acronym like they made it. Girl, who is you who, who is you fighting for here? You ain't fighting for me. I didn't want to be called that. So, a lot of y'all big girls are, are really defending that word and Y'all gotta watch what y'all saying because a lot of these men are hearing what y'all saying and they think it's cute. Then they come to my DMs, they come to my messages and call me BBW and they get blocked immediately. Okay? So, no. <laughs> the whole BBW thing, red flag. Okay? Red flag because, like I said, that's a category on porn. That's very sexual. Any man, any man that is coming to you very sexual and things like that, yes, it is a thing that people do have fetishes for big women. They like to feed them. 
Another thing is, you know, I had experiences one time where this guy was texting me over and over about how much he wanted to feed me. And at first, like the first time he said it, I was like, mm, okay, I guess that's sweet. Like, I guess like guys will talk about that. This is when I was super young. I said, okay, he want to feed me strawberries. You know, that's supposed to be romantic. Yada, yada, yada. But if a man is continuously talking about feeding you and your body and BBWs and da 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 da, da girl, he don't like you. <coughs> <coughs> Ooh, I got choked up. <coughs> he don't like you. He wants to have sex with you. He will not take you seriously. Okay? And he will hit it and quit it. All right? So... You might think, and they're very tricky, if you are an insecure big girl and a man does message you and starts talking about your body, when I was insecure, when I didn't know, you know, my work and stuff like that, I'm not going to lie, it would turn my head. It would make me feel something because it's like, oh my gosh, a man is recognizing me. And, you know, when you're insecure about your body and then you have this person coming to you like, I love everything about you. And I want to do this and do that to you. You kind of feel like, what? Because a lot of big girls honestly do not think that men want to get in the bed with them. <laughs> so when you do find that attractive man and he is messaging you and he starts making you feel like, wow, I feel sexy. He's making me feel sexy and all that stuff. Be very careful because a lot of them have fetishes. A lot of them don't want to date you and they just want to have sex. Okay. And they, after they do have sex, they're going to run to their friends and talk about you. Or, honestly, most of them really don't even talk to their friends about it. But, some of them do. Some of them find it as like a, oh, I, I messed with this big girl one time. Ha, ha, ha. Like, it's a, it's a joke. It's not something they're bragging about to their friends. Okay? So, if the first message y'all have, he's talking about your body and how he wants to do this. And he wants to do that. And y'all haven't even went on a date yet. And y'all haven't even kissed. Y'all haven't done nothing. Da, 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 da. It's just right off a gate with that. Girl, he don't want you. He wants your body. And that's not sexy. And that's not cool. Okay? So he don't like you, baby girl. I'm sorry. He doesn't. And like I said, I'm not... With this podcast, this is the hard truth, y'all. I don't sugarcoat nothing. If you know me, you know if you come to me for advice or the truth, I'm going to tell you what it is and like how it is. And that's how I always like to be talked to as well. And so I want all big girls that watch this to really understand what I'm saying. Because it's going to save you guys so much time and so much heartbreak. Because like I said, I've been through this already. I know the game. I know the game. And I know how to avoid it. So I'm trying to put you all on game. Okay? So like I said, any type of BBW language. Any type of, of, of guys coming to you talking about your body immediately before getting to know you, your last name, nothing like that. He don't like you. He wants to just message you. Okay? Now, the, another way you can find out if a man likes big girls or not, right? I know it sounds crazy. Look at their mother. Okay? Most men. All right? And, you know, not all men because there are some men that be like, oh, I don't want a, a girl to look like my mom. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, boy. <laughs> well, your daddy did, and your daddy paid all the bills. So, and he made your knucklehead it is. Okay? Um, but men that typically do have a mother who's larger, okay? Whose sister is larger. You know, look at their family. Look at their cousins. Because... Most most men who do have skinny mothers, or you know they're used to women in the family being smaller on, on the smaller side, they typically don't like bigger girls. But what I have found is men that do have maybe plus size women in their family, like their cousins, their mom, and stuff like that. Since men are being raised around these women, you know most men whenever they do try to find a girlfriend or a wife, they are looking at based off of what they're used to. So. These men that do have these bigger women in their families and their mom is plus size and, you know, they're not, you know, <laughs> their mama might, might have took them to uh, the plus size section of belts once or <laughs> uh, uh, two times or whatever. Uh, some of them are less judgy and they do typically like bigger women. So, look at their mama. See, she got some orange jiggle. 
Mm-hmm. So you should make a good potato salad. Okay? <laughs> but yes. Um, look at their mother. If their mother is plus size and um, you notice that a lot of their, you know, family is on the, you know, the bigger side of stuff like that, since they are used to that, like I said, they most likely will like a plus size woman or a bigger woman. And you really could just tell because they really won't bring up your weight at all. It's not an issue. It's not a thing. And they're really not scared of, you know, what you got and all you got going on. Okay. <laughs> so that's another way you can tell if a man likes big girls or not. Now, another thing. Look at his social media. Whew. Girl. Y'all would not be surprised. Well, yeah, maybe I would be surprised. Of how many men out here have these BBW meme Instagram? What is that? What is the BBW Instagram meme? They will literally have a whole page of like these cartoon characters of like BBWs, and it'd be like when she got a little cushion in the put. What, sir? Help? Spam his account. Like I mean, literally like report it. Not spam it, but report it. Delete that that, that account, sir. If you are a man watching this, I don't have male viewers or whatever, but if I ever had one come in here, I want y'all to hear this, okay? These IG memes of plus-size women being loved on, y'all aren't doing anything for us. <laughs> it's not cute. It's not sexy. It's not fun. I don't think it's funny. I don't really feel proud of myself. Like, I don't know who y'all are making these posts for or what type of plus size women you're trying to attract but if you do attract a plus size woman from these ig memes and stuff like that she's definitely not a high value woman and i know that 100 percent. and i want my plus size women that do fall for that to be better than that okay girl because that's weird okay <laughs> that's an obsession that's fetishy that's weird if his ig has stuff like that run for the hills okay they should not have any memes on there of plus size women and they like be posting like actually gram and different types of no it's weird if they if they instagram is looking like a dedicated plus size woman page girl run no that's weird and it's like also think about this girl if you do give this man a chance would would you be okay if he posted you no <laughs> okay if you give this man a chance really sit here and think Okay, his Instagram got all this fetish stuff on it. I'm going to give him a chance anyway because maybe, you know, he likes me and stuff like that. Girl, I would not be surprised if by the the second you get to that date, he's already trying to feed you. He's already, like, stalking you after the, <laughs> the thing. Okay? Run away from these men. These men are weird. They're strange. They also... <laughs> another thing I have noticed, these men who be posting these big girl memes and stuff like that they literally be following all plus size women <laughs> like they be following all of my friends i'm just like you be in their dms i know 100 percent, 100 percent, and i just can't <laughs> i can't win it sir they're very weird and strange y'all watch out for them little things i don't even know where they find the memes at y'all i don't I, I have no idea but they be having memes for days. And they be like a hundred posts. Run away from the men. They're crazy. They're weird. And they don't like big girls for real. They think you're a fetish. And they're not going to take it seriously. They want to hit it and quit it. And they are obsessed. Like it's weird. And not even a good obsessed. Like you want a man to be obsessed with you. But them men is a weird obsessed. It's not a cute obsessed. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> Another thing. I'm looking over here too because. You know I got my notes and stuff like that. Y'all know. If I don't have my notes. I'll be here rambling for like an hour y'all. Y'all know that for sure. Um, another thing, if you're talking to this guy, and let's say it's going well, you look at his Instagram, he's not weird, doesn't bring up your body, you know, real cool dude, treating you like a normal human being, <laughs> yeah, um, but every time, like, you feel like maybe he needs to ask you on a date, or maybe he hasn't asked you on a date, and the first thing that he asks you to do, really, is to hang out at his house, behind closed doors. And it's just like, it feels like every instant he's always bringing up, like, different ways to hang out without being in public. 
he doesn't like you and he's ashamed of you. Mm -hmm. You heard it here, baby. Um, if a man is not trying to take you out in public, he likes you behind closed doors, which means he does not like you, big girl. Run. Okay? You're wasting your time. He wants to hit it and quit it. You're probably an experiment. Okay? And over here on this channel, we're not experiment. Okay? So, be done with that. Cut that off immediately. If you're talking to a guy... And you sit there and you really feel like you want to ask him to take you out and stuff like that. Definitely don't. But that also means that so much time has went by and he has not made any action. So that means he's not taking you seriously. Okay? So you're wasting your time. You're being pen pal buddies. And you got to move on from that. Another thing. Men that treat you like a plan B. Whew. I've been, that, I've been through that too many times, y'all. It's sad. It really is sad. Ways you can figure out, figure out if you have plan B. If you feel like he's always out, and he's out with his friends, he's here, he's there, but he can never, ever find the time for you, run. He doesn't like big girl, and he doesn't like you. Okay? That means, because let me tell you something. There is no man in this world that is too busy to pursue you. Big girls, you are the prize. Let's not forget that. And since you are the prize, that means he should be chasing you all the time. He should be wondering where you are, what you're doing this weekend. Are you free this time? Are you free that time? He should already be chasing you. You should feel like, dang, like, ooh, he's doing a lot. You should really feel like, Oh my gosh, like, these boys are competing. Like, it should be a competition, not a participation, okay? They should really be running, running to get your attention. So, if he's not running for your attention, if he isn't, like, really, really trying to find the time for you, you are a plan B, he doesn't like you, he may be just using you to talk to somebody fun, because y'all know big girls got fun personalities, and we are funny and hilarious and all that and sweet. So, a lot of men will talk to us for a good time because some women out here, they have to develop personalities. I'm not going to say who. <laughs> I'm not going to say who. But y'all know, being a big girl, we have developed personalities because our, you know, I keep hitting the mic. Our uh, body was accepted. So, a lot of us are funny and all that stuff. So, a lot of guys will talk to us. And stuff like that, like, through online everything, because we are funny and stuff like that. So, be careful of those men that are trying to treat you like a plan B, okay? They never find the time for you. They're always too busy, all that stuff. They don't like big girls, and they don't like you, okay? You will always know when a man likes you. Like I said, you should be feeling like, oh, he is trying so hard to see me. Even if you don't text back fast, like, if you don't text back fast enough, if maybe maybe you're busy and stuff like that, it should always feel like he is going out of his way and trying the most he can to get you. That's how you know he really, really, really likes you. Okay? It's a feeling that you really should know for sure. Um another thing. Let me see what if I wrote down. Oh. Another sign he's into big girls. This is the trick. That I always indulge in. Okay. <laughs> um, honestly, flat out asking if a guy has a type will tell you exactly what you need to know. Now, there's two ways men answer this question. Okay. And you got to be ears up. Listen, baby. Okay. So, this is what I do. When you ask that man, oh... So, what type of girls do you like? Most men, some men will say, Oh, I don't really have a type. Um, I just, you know, like who I like and da 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 da. Now with that, that could be a sign he likes big girls. But also, on the other end of that, some men will say that to not hurt your feelings. <laughs> now, it does sound crazy. 
some men will say they do not have a type because they almost without really saying it out loud they always they're almost trying to say like okay i like everything and you're included now with that what's really good about if a man does say oh i don't really have a type if he falls up with but you're my type or like i think you're beautiful that's really good sometimes when a man just answers oh, i don't really have a type so like that uh it's kind of getting in murky waters because it's like everybody got a type everybody got a type and so sometimes those men those men that say that you're just like I don't know. <laughs> you really don't know about that because when someone says they don't really have a type, it just makes me feel like they're lying because I have a type, everybody has a type, or even with that, I'll even follow up and be like, okay, well, like, what do, like, your exes look like? Like, are they bigger? Are they smaller? Are they shorter? Are they black? Are they white? Like, that's the follow-up question. So, if you ask him what type of women he likes and he's, like, in the murky waters and he's saying stuff like oh i like everything i don't really got a type ask him oh, okay well what type of woman you are you attracted to or ask him oh well what does your ex look like or something like that now i don't want to dig too deep into the ex and stuff like that but if you have instagram girl you can go ahead and stalk that if you still have, the, if you still have pictures up and stuff like that but you also could like i said ask like oh, okay well what's your ex like bigger or skinnier and stuff like that Make it really broad, though. Like, don't sit there and ask exactly what the ex look like. Be like, oh, was, you know, are most of your exes, like, bigger women? Are they smaller? Or, yeah, yeah. Because that can also show you what type of women they actually like. That's the first answer that men would give you when you ask what type. The second answer they would give you. Now, this is the men I'm just like, okay, they know what they want. Now, the best answer you can when you ask a man, oh, what type of women do you like? And they go, I like mostly, you know, I like thicker women. I, you know, I like women with meat on their bones. That's a good one. <laughs> They'll be like, I like uh, women with meat on their bones. I like women who, I don't know, I like women who have thick thighs or something like that. Any type of like little bit of reference to you <laughs> you got him girl <laughs> so those are two answers you're looking for me personally the best answer you can get is for the man to be like okay i don't have a type but i think you're beautiful or um i don't, I don't have a type but you know you are what i'm looking for and stuff like that that's good Sign likes big girls, or if he's like, Oh, I like thicker women, I like this, I like this, I like that. That's also good as well. And I know I said earlier, okay, you know, don't don't fall for these men who, you know, just like your body, stuff like that. But if they are just describing their type, that's okay. Like, you know, make sure they don't go too don't go too crazy. You know, don't stay too crazy. But if they're like, you know, I like thicker women, I like women who, you know, have little, you know, mean in their bones, stuff like that, that's cool. Okay. That is also a way you can figure out if a man likes big girls or not. You really have to just flat out ask. Okay. Also, ladies, definitely FaceTime these men. If you have not FaceTime this man yet, I do not trust any man that says they like big girls until they actually FaceTime me and they can see my body in real life. Not real life, but like see my body like through the call. Because it also, <laughs> I just do a little trick. With FaceTime, like, oh, like, I would only show, like, you know, the, the front of my face like that. No. You need to be, have it up on a desk or something, walk away from the camera real quick without you thinking that he watching, watching you and stuff like that. He has to see you for real through FaceTime and stuff like that before y'all actually meet up. Because you don't want to sit here and have false hopes with the man. You know, a lot of us look good at pictures and, you know, some of us be catfishing, ladies. I'm like, oh, y'all love him and like that. But... <laughs> Make sure y'all FaceTime as well before y'all go on a date because some men will sit here and claim they didn't know you were fat even though all your pictures literally clearly show you are. But definitely take that FaceTime as well to figure out if he likes big girls or not. 
that's another way. Um, I think I'm almost done, you guys. What's my last one? Oh, this is very, 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 very important. If he never brings you around his friends, he doesn't like big girls. Okay? And I have been through this before where he was very popular. Because, you know, a lot of football players like big girls. Very popular. And, you know, a lot of them have friends like that. And when it came down to, oh, the, the football players was having a party and stuff like that, like when I was in college, I would see him at the party. But yet, like, he would never really say hey to me. But yet, you and my phone texting me, though. You and my DMs drooling over me, like, trying to get my attention and all this stuff. So, definitely, ladies. If he does not mention you around his friends or take you around his friends, he doesn't like big girls. Because, let me tell you, most men that bring ladies around their friends are proud of their women because the woman represents them. So if they feel like they can't bring you around their friends, that means that they don't think that you will represent them well. And that is the hard truth. I know it hurts, okay? But that's honestly the truth. And that's okay. You just not his cup of tea. And he need to figure out what's going on really in deep inside because he battling between two worlds here. He thinking that he can want the cake eat it too. That's not how it works over here. Because with us, we are being loved publicly. We being loved loudly as bigger women. We not uh, being with men who are ashamed to be seen holding our hand and stuff like that. Definitely watch out for those men who don't bring you around their friends. Watch out for men who don't show you no PDA in public. Oh, yeah, that's very, very uh, a, a real thing. Um, these men will try to date big, bigger women and plus-size women, but then when they're out in public, they don't even want to kiss them or hold their hand. Watch out for those men because they actually do not want you for real. They think you're an embarrassment, okay, and they don't want to date you. So watch out for that as well. If they don't want to bring around their family. Like I said earlier, watch out for that. They don't really like big girls either. Another thing, another way to figure out if a man doesn't like big girls is watching how he talks about other fat people. That is so triggering, okay? I've been in different situations where men have, like, talked about other fat people as if, like, I'm not fat myself. <laughs> like, it's almost like, what? <laughs> is he actually me for real? Like I've actually went through like went through that before. Like I don't know, like maybe it's like a video going around or like I think it was a viral video that went around one time and it was like I don't know, maybe it was about this plus size woman, maybe I don't know, maybe it was like a video about a plus size woman, maybe well let's say falling down the stairs. So you know, people laugh when fat fat people fall. Ha ha ha, whatever. So maybe let's just say it was that video, whatever. If you catch the person you're talking to laughing at stuff like that and thinking that's cute he don't like you for real at all because it's almost like think about this if you are going to date outside of your race okay there are certain type of things where you have to be uncomfortable in because of the partnership that you're with like if i was to ever date a white man and something like that and we go somewhere and i don't know let's just say someone acting black in a, in a restaurant and they're acting i don't know ghetto or whatever and he goes oh they so ghetto something like that hello <laughs> i'm sorry did you just say something about black people like i'm not black like that's what i'm saying so watch out for that as well and it actually slipped in a little bitty crack but i that's something else i did notice so watch out for these men who will laugh at other fat people Make fun of fat people because, first of all, it's very rude and not nice. And number two, he shouldn't even be with you if he thinks fat people are a joke or hilarious. So that's another way you can tell he don't like you and he don't like big girls. Okay? So I know I feel like I've been over time right here. So <laughs> just to recap, look at his family. Look to see if his family has plus-size women. Okay? Those are signs that he likes big girls. 
look at his exes or ask him about his exes. Don't go in detail about the exes because you don't want to talk about them too much. You know, you don't want to remind them of the good memories. <laughs> ask them how the exes look, or like I said, if they have an IG and their pictures still up, look and see what they what the girls look like. Nine times out of ten, men do do delete them, but if they do have pictures up there, look at that or go to Facebook, girl. Facebook got everything. You know, Facebook never delete nothing. <laughs> okay, it's like the web. It's like the dark web. Um, go to, I mean, uh, ask them about their exes. So ask them, oh, like, was your ex bigger, smaller? Like, what's your type? Something like that. Next question. Always ask these men what their type is. Look out for the ones who are indecisive. They don't have a type and all that stuff. Because let me tell you, ladies, men have a type. They do. Because <laughs> men marry based off of looks. So, of course, every man has to have a type. So, they're definitely lying. So, watch out for the ones when you ask them if they have a type. The ones that are in the murky waters and they don't have one. Make sure that the, the, the key words listen to. I like thicker women. I like women who... Or, or um, have good personalities. A lot of them will say personalities. Uh, that's okay. That's all right. But I need to be more specific, sir. But definitely, if they're saying I like bigger women, thicker women, that's definitely a good sign. Um, make sure that their IG is clean without any BBW talk, any type of BBW in their bio, or those cartoon pictures and hashtag BBW love and girl no. <laughs> Duh, dead that he don't like big girls watch out for the fetish ones the freaky deaky ones that just want to hit it and quit it yeah watch out for those um watch out for the men like i said that don't like fat people they talk down on fat people fat people at the gym they, they get uncomfortable and stuff like that watch out for that that's a really really big flag so you do not want i'm sorry so you don't want to go for those men either. Um, and really, honestly, ladies, you will know if he likes big girls. Honestly, it does come with time. And for me personally, I feel like you really have to build your own self-confidence first before weeding out the ones that do like big girls. Because you're going to get your feelings hurt a lot. Okay? A lot of these men want to have, you know sex with bigger girls and that's it and they don't want to date us so you have to be really secure when you're going into dating and trying to find those men that do want you for who you are it's tough it's going to be hard it's going to be crushing especially the ones that you think are so good looking and all that stuff some of them just want you for an experiment and that's really the sad case so watch out for the ones that you know don't really want you um, that comment on your body immediately, sexualize you immediately. Those are also big red flags. And honestly, like, at least like I said at the beginning, you really will just have that feeling. If a man is running after you, if you feel like a man is chasing you and running after you, and he's trying everything he can to get your attention, and he's very communicative and all that stuff, he really likes you. And he wants to take the time out to get to know you. So, with all that being said, I hope this video helps. I hope you guys are looking on the outside in and you really can make these decisions for yourself based off of what I'm saying because there's a lot of men out there that want to break your heart, baby girl. A lot of men. But being bigger women, we we, we are, you know, always being treated the worst. But we're okay, you guys. On this channel, we're learning to <laughs> improve our lives do better, put our stuff as a uh, priority with, through self-care, all that stuff, and building our confidence, our self-esteem. And honestly, like I said in my other past videos, put in the most energy you can into yourself is going to attract the right man. But all these steps what we learned today, that's definitely a way to weed out the bad ones. Because a lot of bad ones, girl. There's a lot of bad ones. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed today's podcast. I am so happy for everyone, um, for everyone who supported me already. Thank you so much for watching these videos and sharing them. And um, I'm getting so much love on my clips and things like that. So I am so appreciative. I'm so, so proud of myself for doing this, you guys. 
I have such a huge problem with consistency and discipline and stuff. So I really wanted to take this challenge and do this podcast. So and I'm having a really good like time with it. I'm having fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. And yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. And I post every Sunday. Follow my Instagram and my TikTok at JB underscore underscore heart. And I will see you guys next week. You guys deserve the best. Don't forget you are a priority. You are worthy. You're beautiful. And you are absolutely, mostly deserving of abundance. Okay? <laughs> Hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Love y'all. Bye.